Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're upgrading one of our popular videos, how to add HTML signatures into Apple Mail. In this updated version, we also tackle the missing library folder issue that occurs in the latest release of OS 10.7 line. In this tutorial, we're going to assume that you've already made your HTML signature or are confident in putting a simple one together in a HTML editor like Dreamweaver or Notepad. I've made a quick example, so let's take a look at that just now. So here's an example of an HTML signature that I've made in Dreamweaver. You can see it's just got some simple text and a graphic. So if we head over to the code view, you'll see that you don't need any HTML or opening body tags. Just use simple HTML4 and CSS2. So you can see I've used tables, simple paragraphs, and I've opened up some styles as well. That I'm running within the file. So I'll also add this code to our supporting blog post so that you can copy and paste it as a starting platform for yours. So once you've got your signature ready, keep it open in Safari and we'll come back to that in a moment. So next head over to your mail, head over to preferences and then go over to the signatures tab at the top. Now you can probably see I've got a few signatures already, but if you haven't, just add a new one. So we'll call this one Akbar for the example. Okay, so if you've got a few boxes like I have, make sure that you assign it to an account as well. And what we're going to do, we've created a file for the signature, and we're going to go and overwrite it in a moment. So once you've made it, it's important that you quit mail because otherwise when you replace that file, you need to reload and reopen mail for it to work. Okay, so next, if you open the finder, and head over to your user area, and hopefully you can see the library folder. If you can't see the library folder, this is a problem with a lot of computers with uh, OS 10.7 line, then you need to uh, basically display it because it's, it's like a sort of hidden folder by default. So to do this, head over to Applications, Utilities, and open up the terminal. Within the terminal, just simply type out ch flags, space, no hidden space, that curly squiggle thing, forward slash library, and hit enter to execute that, and that will reveal that folder for you if you can't see it. Now again, I'll put that code uh, available to copy and paste on our supporting blog post. I won't execute that because I've already done that to make mine visible. So what you want to do is head into that library folder, look for the mail folder, v2, mail data, and make your way over to the signatures folder, like I have. So you can see all of my HTML signatures, this is where they're saved, and we want to identify the new one. So if I preview them, I can clearly see that that's that new one that I've just made. So these are just simply Safari web archive files. And all I've got to do to add and replace that is just to simply save over it. So now that we know where it is, I can see from the list that it starts with a D, and it's the only one that starts with a D. I can go over to my Safari window where I've got my signature open. File, save as. Go onto my user, no, <coughs> my user folder. Onto that library folder that shouldn't be hidden anymore. Find mail, V2 mail data, signatures, and then we're going to click on that one that starts with a D. That will keep that as the file name. Make sure the format's set to web archive, and hit save. So that will overwrite that file for you. Okay, so it was an important moment ago that you closed and quit mail. So if you haven't done so, do that now, and then reopen the program. So now if I create a new message, one of my options should be to select the Akbar signature, and it's as simple as that. Don't forget to keep your HTML email signature simple. The more imagery and complicated you make it, the more likely it is to be flagged as spam or look disjointed for email software that doesn't allow images to load by default. Best advice is to use one image maximum and simple CSS2 and HTML4 coding, like tables, like we showed you in the example. 
Thanks for watching this week's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the supporting blog post.